Hello, gamers. Very late, get great. So. Mm. Some things have come up, and I need to uh, work some IRL things out. So, if there's ever a time for Suggles get late, this would be it. It was going to be a lab stream. I totally blanked out on the calendar because, you know, usually when I say the last Saturday of the month is the lab stream, I usually mean the fourth Saturday, uh, but, you know, some calendars, you know, you know some, some months and actually work out that way. But yes, welcome to Scott Girls Get Great, the lab stream variant. So we're just going to go through some questions that are in the Discord. And answer some questions from the chat. Let's see here. Yeah, the Twitch announcement just went up. There it goes. Okay. Yes. Message link here. But so, we're just gonna answer some questions today. Sorry if I'm a little flat. It's been a bit of an emotional kind of day. So let's get a lap in. Let's let's go here. Here we go. But and my list of questions and certain things to lab out. Solid like month worth it's worth of stuff. So that's gonna be interesting. Let's go! So much for the follow, appreciate it. Amy hello, interior crocodile and crocodile alligator. New training room. Let's see what we got for questions here. We're labbing, we're labbing right here, my dude. Okay, so first question we got. We have this. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. First question is from Rocco. Man, how should I pressure an opponent who is waking up as Bella Band? Uh, well, I guess it depends on what kind of character that you're running, right? Uh, for him, for Rocco. God, what did they play? Rocco, if you're here, please tell me what you play, but things to look out for if you're big old band or big old Bella you know? uh, normally some things that that oh hold on I need the opposite character hold on but, but, but let's do Fuqua just as an example and we'll have Bella and band here a lot of big band your stage for labbing uh, yeah, you're asking if, how, how you should pressure an opponent who's waking up as Bella Band. Oh, you are. You are Bella Band, right? Are you pressure an opponent who's waking up as Bella Band? Oh, okay. I misunderstood. This is my fault. But if you're Bella Band, what should you do? And we'll say this and this and this. I don't know. That's a team, I guess. Okay. How you should pressure an opponent? Uh, depending on what kind of assist you're running. Normally, if your opponent's on knockdown, uh, it, it depends. Uh, if they're on hard knockdown, uh, they don't exactly have an option. Or at least a good option to be able to wake up because hard knockdown changes the way that your your getting up frames are like yeah <clears throat> um but like if your opponent's on on like hard knockdown or soft knockdown you know they wake up normally they they would tech um that's kind of free for you to kind of just do whatever the heck um if it's like beowulf and it's like a hard knockdown you go you go into oki pressure you kind of just you know do any kind of wake up things um yeah, soft knockdown for this, yeah. Um, uh, if it's like something like this, 
Soft knockdown, they tech. Uh, your, your, kind of your basic options is low. You got throw, especially for Tekken Bella, Bella, who's got a four frame throw. Do whatever the heck. Um, uh, but like, you could also go overhead, but that's kind of, you know, when whenever your opponent's set into a knockdown state, uh, you put out hitboxes, which uh, it's what they call a meaty hitbox, something that's kind of active and kind of huge uh, that you could um, use to be able to contest any opponent wake up. It'll kind of depends on what they're waking up with, but like, you know, for Bella, you know, heckin' doing a sweep, and doing a sweep on wake up is actually not a bad thing. Doing a low because their low is heckin' massive. Um, you could you could also just contest with this because that's an overhead still. Uh, and it's, it's still pretty fast, uh, and even if they have it unblocking, you're know, using assist to back you up. Kind of keep going. Um, if you want to keep yourself at a distance, you know, and and you want want to contest that point wake up, that will work. That'll work. Uh, you can do some car things, like uh, any one of these. The car right there. Uh, I'm saying, or if you have to half circle it, yeah. That'd be kind of hard, but like, yeah, do one of those. A uh, car, one of those. Um, you can also ask for your assist backup if you just want to sit there and do nothing, because that's also a really powerful move. You just have, you know, maybe beat extend or brass or something like that. Uh, but like, yeah, those are those are some kind of things that we could do. Dude, it's actually really good. It's to be honest, like you you got, you can you can just get a lot hella oofed just by by doing something as simple as a sweep, especially because this is plus zero on block. You know, heck, a neutral sweep in the game. That's kind of dumb. So yeah, like, just doing this and just kind of pressure. This is just normal pressure. But like, yeah, those are the kind of things you could do, uh, as at least as Bella, right? But for heck and big band, big bands kind of thing, like you you could go for a sweep, it's a spacing option right there. Uh, you can Elbrass. Elbrass is pretty good at a distance. So if you want to here, Elbrass from here, pretty good. So you just do that. Hello. Uh, you could just do one of those. That's pretty decent, actually, on a, as a wake-up option. Especially if you're contesting from a distance. So if your opponent decides to like super on wake-up or something like that, you can still super cancel. And that's why SSJ would come into play with the armor and stuff. Um, if you want to contest at a distance, giant step, or this one if you're close enough. You just confirm. Do one of those. Uh, the almost, almost the whack, the most whack option is just doing symbols. Just, you know kind of doing doing this on the wake ups yes and they have to you have to eat that all the time but, you know that's a thing um so this this if, if you just want to be a just an omega omega troll essentially and then they have to fight that the entire time you could call assist while you're doing this so i mean you know That's kind of like the more annoying way of doing that, and it could also just you know jam okay? because this is a this is a dang old meaty hitbox as well. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, kind of okay. Uh, but mostly you just kind of want to do these or do this because that reaches as well. You can just you can confirm with that. Um, so those are some things you could do on on a pun of wake up. Um, is if you're feeling spicy, this is a thing. Um, but this, that, that's a, this is, you're asking for a hard read right here. Um, but look, yeah. Well, those are some things you could do with Bella Ban on Wake Up, you know. <laughs> Don't become one of them. Let's see, I tend to struggle a lot with just getting hits in. I know Philia is really quick, fast, but I can't utilize that just yet. So I want to learn what the basic plan for Philia to get in is. And that's from Casual Nights. Really, uh, I asked Fukuo, you know, why not? Just beat the bottom two character, why not? Okay, so let's let's have a thing. Let's let's do let's let's make it so where our dummy is blocking uh blocking always, right? Or I guess after the first hit, let's say blocking type. Uh let's do, do low no no no, it's too high. Um and then make them 
You know what the crouch. No. We're Philia. Philia is the fastest character in the West. This this character catch move like you can't believe. This 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 character can just go and be over here and then whoa over there, gonna confirm and just you know walk and just like a dash alone, just really you know, be so cool and stuff. Go and do one of these and get in there, right? Right? This character is a uh, Omega Schmover Glore. Uh, have to play again real quick. Um, this character is hella fast. Uh, so, getting in with this character honestly shouldn't be that too big of a deal. Because um, you're, you're mostly just air dashing like a madman with this character. Just kind of doing whatever the heck, right? Um, but if, if you want to. Yeah, if you can't just utilize that kind of thing. So if you want to learn a basic plan though, just like kinda of one of the one of the big things with Philia is just dash up low. Dash up low is extremely strong. On on you, on any character. Just doing just doing just dash up low, dude. Just uh, uh low. Uh uh low. Uh if you're if you're okay with the air dash, it's just dash up one of these or just this into a fast fall. And that's that's not exactly that hard to do, but if you're just kind of, you know, Stick it with it for the first time, right? Um, easy things, dash up low. Easy thing, dash up throw. And if you can convert, that's an easy way to convert using meter. Uh, dash up throw. If you want to do the normal conversion, you got to do an air dash. Um, that if, if you want to throw, there's your conversion. Uh, you can air dash from this distance as well. So you could just, you know, air dash. If you just want to dash up and then cross up, that's also kind of a basic thing. But the thing to commit to really is just dash up low. Dash up low is really strong. That's, that's a good, just easy way to get in. Dash up low. Uh, you could dash up jab, but uh, that might wait on some characters. And you, you never, never normally just kind of walk up with a tech and jab, right? But, you know, her jab is still pretty fast, so it might be worth kind of going for it. So it's not not too committal, really. Um, yes, yes, real good. Just go for that, and then you just go for a confirm. You're just like kind of moving around, moving around, dash up ball, moving around, moving around, moving around, dash up throw. Why not? That works. Those are those are decent, like things to be doing with Philly if you're, if you're not like all about the quickness just yet. Uh, also, this. Her jab's not too bad, so you can you can harass with dash up low jab. But that's not too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully that one that one helps. Let's see what do we got here. Um, I've been having issues with dealing with pressure, mainly assists on block, getting crossed up or getting hit high or low at the same time. I know push block helps, but I can't tell which is coming first to push. That that is fair. That is from enlightened spirit. Let's see here. Hey me, please. <laughs> hey, Fuqua Band is actually really good. Um, say, oh, we have a question. Let me answer the one in the chat, though. Decided to replace double with Fuqua in my team. Could you show me a schmix and explain me a general idea for Fuqua? Uh, I have a crash course with Fuqua, but I could do that real fast here, too. Because uh, I, oops, I exited the training room. I guess that's fine. Let's go over here. Hello, Komodo Spike Dragon. Fuku is a demon. Yes, yes. Um, so we'll, we'll just hold on, let's do this. Fukua, Fukua double, because this is my this is the team that I run with forever. Go with that. Fukua's basic basic dangled game plan. Thing that you want to do with Fukua, one of these. Rass the heck out of your opponent. Beat them into making mistakes. At least that is my general game plan that I like to do. I am playing Fukua. It will make the mistake for me, and then I get to capitalize. Especially because this dangled button enables so much madness. If you get a confirm from here, you get a you get a left, right. You get a confirm from here, you get a low. You get you get a dangled, you know, side switch. You go from here. Is your side switch? Go from here. Awesome elbow. You go from here. Cross up grab. Go from here. Uh, you gotta 
Got a dangled fireball cross-up. Go from here. To a fake side switch. This, this, anything out of M Shadow enables the mix, pretty much. Um, but the Fuqua's thing is that you gotta use all of her options to be able to make her the best character she can be, pretty much. So if you're not using your shadows, you're kind of, you're kind of gimping yourself, really. Um, if you're not using your fireballs, you're also kind of gimping yourself. Um, so, I mean... That's just an example of a thing that I like to do every now and again. Um, but yeah, mostly you just want to do the angle spike combo. Yeah, you normally go into this into the starter and then just do whatever the, do whatever the heck that makes sense to you. Uh, for me, uh, uh, I can get the conversion. Oh. Controller, please. I'll rip. Usually, some some kind of thing like that, but um. Yeah, do this basic starter. Uh, I guess kind of the big thing is, are, are, are can you gotta learn the uh, finger twister? So if you can see by my inputs, both in the game and on the stream as well, uh, finger twister is the thing. Uh, yes, this here. That's a that's a standard there. Yeah. If I could do it, game please. Well, that's a normal thing. Uh, 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 oh my god. No. There we go, Lordy. <laughs> My finger twister's not doing great, um, but yeah, finger twister's a thing. You need to figure out how to do. Oh. So yeah, that's that's a that's a thing. Um. You have to be ready if you want to do the most damaging combos is to learn finger twister so this here blah, 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 maybe into an l shadow or something like that uh normal thing is the mix this here that's a normal mix thing it's a normal mix thing we get the fireball confirm that's weird but that'll it's fine um but yeah so learning the figure twister kind of goes a long way Figuring out what do you want to do. If you didn't know, you could also change what button you're holding in the midst of the thing. Yeah. Then you let go and that's that's gone. Uh, what? Yeah. You can hold the shadow with any kick, and you can also continue holding the shadow uh, and swapping different buttons in the midst of it too. Um, so that's kind of weird, you know. Hold all the buttons. Keep holding. Keep holding. And he released. Yeah. Um, so, learn the finger twister. Uh, 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 yeah, that's kind of the thing. Yeah. This this character is more intricate than she used to be. Always good. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I would argue if you are looking for a good shell doing finger twister, uh, you know. Finger twister the character with double is actually really heckin' good. Um, and let's let's uh lay again. Uh, because and I think I've showed this off before. You can just do the shenanigans. This 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 shell enables the mix so very badly <clears throat> that uh, yeah this is a good shell so if if you ever are looking to do that instead of just removing double for Fuquo that's a thing but yeah you know that's that's a thing <laughs> spam that frag block and it's easy <laughs> you're right you're right oh my god. Okay, let's see here. Uh, isn't that just parry us? Ah, uh, kind of. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ah, I've been uh, invited light and spirit. Uh, uh, push block helps, but I can't tell which is coming first to push. See if I can set up a thing. What's a good, good one? Ah. Uh, 
I think I might have the thing. I'm gonna think about it. Let's see. Uh, it might be like some like parasol. Double Clyde. What other assists would you recommend? Um, L Shadow? L Shadow's not great. The thing to understand about Fuku is that everything she does scales to a certain percentage and actually really poorly. So if you want to use a shadow, L Shadow will scale your combo to 33% and that's not great. A Shadow will scale your combo to 33% and that's not great. Even though it's an overhead and they're both, it's an overhead and a low, they will not give you the damage that you're looking for. M Shadow scales your combo to 75% and that's actually really good for you because then you enable so much damage and so much mix at the same time. H Drill is also a decent option, even though it's not invulnerable anymore, it's a decent pressure option. Hellfire Ball, the results may vary. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's a thing that I wanted to do with this team. Uh, what is it? Get back and do this. That's not the one I want, okay. Oh, this. If I can get the the forward. Oh, okay. Wonder if it'll prioritize. There we go. I'm glad to be like that. Oh, rip. That's a thing. We do. Number two. Let's see if I can do this where it's. Okay, I'm gonna get it at the same time. <laughs> That's a good question. Overhead low. Sometimes you can just kind of tell you know, by the what's happening there. You could just normal block this. Um. Yeah, a lot of this you just kind of have to tell, just kind of in the moment what's going on first. Um. So you might you might see the the opponent acting first, and then your sis shows up. Uh, but you might see the assist and then the and then the opponent acting up. Um, a lot of that just kind of takes takes it down to timing. Um, and he explains reading. Yeah, there was. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of that just kind of takes timing and it just kind of takes looking at your opponent. Um, if you've got replays, it's best to look back and slow slow it down to see what came out first. And you can actually tell the timing from there. Why do they call? Why do they call it oven when, oven, when you of in the cold food, of out hot eat the food. <laughs> I wonder about this. <laughs> Find that interesting. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to explain the thing. <laughs> I was trying to explain explain the thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just I was just like wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, but yes, ho hopefully that one helps. Um, how to avoid being predictable when push blocking. I know you like to punish beginners who push block too much. Um, how to avoid being predictable when push blocking? That's actually an interesting question. Uh, if, if you don't want to be predictable with your push blocks, like, th there is a thing, there is such a thing as getting push block baited. Um, so that's just kind of, it's almost just kind of heading into 
getting into matches and then experimenting with with your blocks and your and your pushback timings because <clears throat> you know holding down back that's just a thing you you block a lot of options just holding down back until you have to wait for the overhead and then you just hold you know hold normal block right um but if if you want to be less predictable just hold the block I, and i know that sounds kind of <laughs> that almost sounds pretentious um hold the block and then push block either at the first of the hit or like maybe at the last of the hit of a, of a block string and the more you play the more you understand the lengths of block strings and stuff but um if you want to be less predictable just kind of hold the block and then experiment on when you want to push block and then that kind of goes for the same with guard canceling uh, um people who push block too much though um you mostly just kind of go for it it's almost more just of, of a reactionary thing as it is just like a like a like a habit and also i guess also in that sense it's also a habit but um if you're like doing if you're doing if an opponent is push blocking you like way too much right um that means they're on the defensive often and because they're on the defensive and just holding this and then just waiting for the you know waiting for the punches to just roll out so they can push block a button right um that's when you just kind of run up grab and just be like, okay, you're going to sit there and down back and push all my buttons, so I'm just going to run and grab you. I'm just going to keep running up grabbing you until you um, until you just find a reason to stop blocking. Oh no, I want to become famous. I don't want to become famous. No. Ah. No. Get him out of here. Oh no. Gone, bots. One second. <laughs> Bam. God. Oh, so hello, Anonymous. <laughs> something, something, there's two of them. <laughs> Roof frame is getting, <laughs> by getting, good. you're right. Oh, man. <laughs> There we go, everything's fine. I like how they had two of the same things, but it was it's, it was just separated by different numbers. <laughs> oh man, this one didn't work, so I'll just get my other one. And this one didn't work, I'll just get my other one. <laughs> that's that's persistence, I guess. That's dang dude. Well, let, me, let me be in a lock stream shenanigans here. Anybody wants to join in and talk while we do this thing? Um. <gasps> no! Buy nominally a sub. Dang. I wish I could. <laughs> and say, how do you deal with Eliza push block, Eliza block strings involving segment? I find they're hard to react to, and I almost always get caught by them, especially strings where she throws in axe. Even harder to punish them reliably. Armor catches me off guard. Is there something I can do? Is there something I can watch out for that maybe makes it easier to see segment and not get totally blown up for? How good would chicken blocking be here? Uh it's kinda hard to chicken block kinda hard to chicken block uh segment like that. Um Honestly, uh because of the way that this character now works, you've got three options to to be dealing with segment. If you've got if you got your shot your segment just doing stuff here. Hold on. Do here. I wish I could find the way that you can randomize this stuff. Um but yeah. I forgot. Just doing this. It's it's kinda hard to tell until the moment of impact, right? Interesting. Went back. That was an interesting correction. <laughs> Different. Yeah. So, you know, this just kind of have to hold it. I have to hold that. Like that, you have to just worry about it being an overhead and that being a low. So, like there, there are some tells. Um, it's almost just better to just kind of just like. Oh God. No, how could she? Like the buttons you can just kind of tell 
Like, if, if Sekhmet's gonna go for heckin', heckin' low, right? It's, it's, it's gonna look like she's crouching, and then she's gonna go low, right? This is just gonna have to just block to see what they're gonna do next. This you also just kind of have to block. This you just have to, you know, see the wind up right there. So that's it, because that's always an overhead. Um, but the way to, to deal with the bones here. Uh, uh, let me get her out in the bones. Ah, poop. The bones. Here. <gasps> no! Lord. <laughs> Doing this stuff. Ooh. There, she's in the bones. Cool. The way to deal with segment here, right? Because not everything is dependent on segment's health. Um, you've got one of three options, right? You can grab her. That's a thing, you know? You can, uh, you can dangle the... If you've got yourself a super, you can uh, use your super if it's a hit grab. Bonk. She gets nabbed out of it. That's a thing. Um, you can snap her, and it'll bounce her off the wall. And then you can convert from there. Um, or you can now, which is a beautiful thing, sweep the heck out of her, to which you can convert for a full combo. Um, at, at kind of grab scaling. Because you, you start kind of start building a dizzy almost instantly at the third hit, yeah, kind of rough. Um, one, three, oh, the fourth hit, okay. Um, I guess that's a side for the grab, but is that counter hit today? No, okay. Um, but yeah, so snap her, grab her, sweep her. Use your, use a super that has hit grab. All those options work. Um, if, if you find it hard to react to, really just kind of holding the block and it's just kind of watching what she does. Um, uh, yes, the follow-up for Snap does use OTG. If you did not walk forward. Yeah, so you kind of you kind of have to deal with that at that point. Yeah. Um, chicken blocking doesn't necessarily help you here because Sekhmet is a, uh, look, look at Sekhmet, she's a shorty. Sekhmet's, Sekhmet's not going anywhere like that, you know. Chicken blocking not going to help you much. Holding the block, holding the down back is decent enough. You just kind of have to watch for the overhead. Um, and there's certain tells for each of the moves, like I just demonstrated earlier. Um, but you've got options to deal with it, you know. Fugo, she doesn't really have a hard time with it because she's got M Shadow, so it's kind of easy for her. Um, but with other characters, you really just sweep. Snap, grab, um, and then if you have a hit grab as a super, do that. But, uh, yeah, those are things. Uh, do you have routes for Fuqua Brass and Fuqua Train? Kind of a weird thing to ask, but Sophie only has one bit for each. Uh, I don't have routes, but I can certainly make routes. It's actually not that hard to do, um, and actually does a heck ton of damage. Interestingly enough. Uh, I do have H train, H A train routes with Val though. Those are fun because uh, you could do dumb left rights like that. Let's see here. Juice gives me a heart. Thanks, Juice. Uh, let's see. Would it be a good idea to arrange different air movement patterns in full screen neutral as Val, or would that be a waste of time? What does that mean? Would it be a good idea to arrange different movement air movement patterns in full screen and neutral? Oh. Like, if you were to do different things in neutral for Val, I mean, her, her kind of thing is just like, you you just kind of do this. Let me, let me show you real, real quick. You're full screen, right? Um, it, it, it does kind of matter what, what your movement plan is. Like, most people just kind of default to this. That, or if they're closer, just do that. That's, that's kind of like your thing. If you're trying to dodge and avoid things, yeah, doing that is fine. Like, doing something like this is fine, or... Super jumping and stuff. That, or like back air dash or something like that, you know? Like, var varying up your movement in the neutral kind of matters, especially depending on the matchup, because then you avoid certain things and you can still get the hit in. Like that. Um, so, you know, if, if you can vary your stuff up, it does matter. 
Oh, uh, okay. Oh, hear me. Reesh. Um, so yeah, you know, varying up your stuff doesn't matter. Let's see. With how H pin in how pinwheel H pinion launches, what confirms can I get off of P's cannonball? All H pinion H item drop H pinion if they all hit the opponent. You call H pinion, you get item drop, and then another H pinion. Cannonball. Well, if you do the cannonball, you get H pinion. Uh, you could just do God. You could do weird things. You could do a bunch of weird things. Same. Okay, well, Doc. Uh, this one. Whatever. Anyway, for those who don't know, Pennywell's H pinion is not an actual move in the game. It is just an assist. You have to hit. Was it? Is it that just down? No. You have to hit. You have to double tap down, and then hit your kick button. And I didn't know this initially. So, <clears throat> figuring out that Pinwheel has a, a opinion thing, you know, sends sends her full across the screen, and and discovering that it's an assist the first time was just like, wow, what is that? How do I do that? <laughs> uh, so let's do this against Fuquo because you know bottom two character. Uh, so we're saying we want to do this. Is this right? Get that kind of confirm? Because that would be a wild confirm. Let's see here. Up the blocking. Up, 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 up. So if we're, if we're trying for this kind of thing. I think the only way that you're going to get that, doing that. Yeah, he could do something like that. And something like that. That might, might work. Each item drop, though. We do... Cannonball. Not the cannonball. This is the cannonball. Um, <clears throat> if you do HP and then... Yeah. I mean, the thing that you ch could be able to do is like Argus. Pretty much. That's like your kind of only confirm. Like, <laughs> um, otherwise, if you're just doing one of these, right? Like, if you go on this, you can just do whatever the heck you want. You can time your like, item drop. I mean, it's possible, but you know, there's there's some weird confirms you could probably land. It's just strange, strange interaction. Okay, there we go. A little comfortable. Uh, let's see here. What's next? Uh, would you show me what is the game plan with Annie? What to do as an air to air and what buttons to... I could do that. One, let me see one more thing. What to do against double parasol as big band. Oh, selfish. Oh. I am... <sighs> That is a question. It's been kind of rough. 
we're we're living, I guess. Yeah. Let's see what's do against double parasol is big band. If you're a big band and you're dealing with double shenanigans, um kind of what you would normally do, just approach in neutral as you know, a lot of parasols like to like to do their their dangle thing. Uh, let's see here. Whoop. Parasol. Those parasols kind of get up on you with the one of these. Do that kind of thing. Juice box low. Uh, a lot of a lot of parasols like to contest, uh, but doing the overhead because big band is so big. Um, a lot of things that you would do in neutral, just kind of just catch catch doubles doing their things. Uh, and this is just the way that I play big band against uh, most characters. Uh, but this also kind of applies to parasol. Um, high block most of the time, to be honest, uh, since most people want to want to be going for the overhead, uh, and then just catching catching people with the L brass at a distance. Uh, this is how you how you harass your how you harass your opponent for the most part. Uh, symbols to kind of control the space in front of you. DP when you need to, not when you have to. Um, and then kind of going for this and this button. For, for the neutral because then you can you can kind of go for uh confirms like you normally would you know. and then you just kind of do that in the neutral you know um so you, you can you can catch doubles trying to go for the overhead like that parcels going for the overhead like that um it's kind of believe in your blocks my dude hello mako kai uh, a lot of doubles. They also like to go for the the shots. Harry, it's pretty good. Patience as well, just kind of works. If you're full screen, kind of go for that. Especially with to go for the for the shot, because then you just kind of you can kind of confirm because you get hit out of it. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's just kind of how I approach neutral and kind of any character. But it also applies, you know, applies everywhere else. It all depends on kind of what they're they're trying to achieve, if anything. How do I deal with armored assists? Mainly butchers, brass, and lock and load. Ikatsu said this one. And they were here in the chat earlier. Hello, welcome to Get Great. Uh, we'll play as Fuqua, because, you know, it applies. Uh, so let's say butchers, brass, and lock and load. Let's say Bella's lock and load. And it's got the brass. And we got butchers right here. Uh, my main is the character that you're looking at right now. I don't like the stage. <laughs> to be honest, I don't like the stage. Let's just go to Nightmare Crest. It's my favorite. Butchers free. No, nah. it's it's this dangled bottom two character right here. Uh, so let's see. So you got you got a bellow. Right, we have, we have, we've got a bellow. I love lock and load. Love all the lock and loads. Let's let's let's, let's do that again. The lock, the lock and load. I love the lock and loads. Just a moment. Go over here. Okay. We want we want to be dealing with lock and load here. If you want if you want to deal with armor desis. Sekatsu, my dude. Easy answer. Easy answer. The easiest answer you could ever come up with. You either that or you just try to run up grab or something like that. Um, but definitely using your sweep option to be able to tell him to stop. Pretty much how you approach it. If you've got a dangle, let's see, let's see, it's uh, save low state. Uh, change over to... Change over to Big Ban. Okay, we want Big Ban. He's doing the M brass. Just going for it. So you said, saying yes to M brass. Fix that a little bit, here we go. I'm saying yes to M brass. Yes to H brass. Yes to the A train. 
all that heck right. Sweep it. You sweep it. You just, you just, you sweep it. This is the easiest way to tell, them, tell someone to stop. I'm tired of your heck. You sweep it like a madman. That's how you deal. Uh, if you got butchers, there's, yeah, there's never enough sweeps. That's true. Um, if you got yourself a butchers, right? And when we're hecking, uh, Uh, Liza, yeah, Fuku Philly and Fukuoka sweets are so good. Uh, so Liza loves to butchers. She's still going. She loves it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I gotta fix that. You sweeper. It's just, just no. Absolutely not. No, don't do it. Pretty much. I mean, for the most part, if, you, if you're dealing with an armor assist, to be honest, just sweep it. Because uh, then you just halt all forward progress, and then they eat, and they get hit with a dangled chunk of damage. So, I mean, it's it's worthwhile just kind of just sweeping everything, to be honest. If it's a, especially if it's an assist, because then you just get to punish the heck out of it. That's easy with armor assist, though. Uh, Mozari... Interesting. I'm just I'm just new at this and want some experience. If you want some experience, we've got ourselves our Discord. Exclamation mark D I S C O R D. Join our Discord. We've got matchmaking in there. You can play with beginners, intermediates, advanced players if you so choose. Nor heckin Discord. It'd be pretty good. Uh, when should I push block? When should I guard cancel? <laughs> That's from Pizzicato. When should you push block? Uh, actually, I think we could actually just use Eliza as an example. See, this this second move is kind of crazy, right? That move's pretty rough. Like, especially for multi hitting moves, learning when to push block is kind of rough, right? So, if you want to push block this, this norm, this is probably best suited to just push block on the last hit. Because uh, if you push block this on the first hit, that's not, that's not really going to move her anywhere. Um, that's, that doesn't exactly serve you, uh, unless you want to push block on the first hit, then try to, you know, because that causes a lot of uh, hit blocks done. It's your PVGC, that's a punish right there. Uh, if, if you want to uh, guard cancel against multi-hitting moves, um, you, sh you should be wanting to push block the first hit, and then wait for all that blocks on the end, and that's when you'll flash green, pretty much. Um, if you want to push block against, like, say, just a heckin' but uh, but 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 to here, go back. Um, just a normal block string, right? I'll say this is a the block string. It's gonna go through all that, but that's okay. So here's here's a normal thing that most players do. They go for something like that. Uh, bu, 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 bu. That's the block string. You can push like there. Here, let's do a. Uh... Oh. First hit is pretty good, because uh, that'll just get them away from you. Third hit's pretty good. Like you're in their th in their face, right? And you're, and you're trying to push block in the third hit, and then getting the PBGC on the on the fourth hit right there. The normal thing as well. It's a normal thing. Uh, normally, you want to push block the first hit, depending on if it's like just single hits or the last hit. First hit is actually really good for you because that's the the best chance that you'll get to actually just get your opponent away from you. So. We just kind of repeat that, right? Uh, 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 uh. See, she can't really travel any further than that. Um, so first hit's pretty good. Uh, if you want, if you want to, I guess do it in the last hit. And you'll be blocking for a long time though, so you could push block whatever you believe would be the last hit for that, uh, which is usually four to five hits in. Um, you can push block then too. 
but it's kind of like the multi-hitting moves that you need to worry about. Uh, so push blocking at, at the first hit of a multi-hitting move would be best for you. Uh, you could push block in the middle if you think it'll serve you well, though you'll kind of get stuck there, and that's the only problem. Push block means to push them back. So if you push block in the middle, it's actually kind of bad for you. Um, or push block the last hit if you just want to block it all. Uh, that would also get them away from you. Uh, guard canceling is something you just have to feel out, really. Like, I can't I can't tell you when you should guard cancel. Um, you kind of get a feeling for the 25 frames in the flash. Um, like, that's this, this just... Like, I know for a fact, for Eliza, when I've seen block strains, it's usually something like that. You push block the first hit of stand hard punch, that's your that's your guard cancel window. Like, I, I just know to feel that out. Um, so, I mean, I'll never master any of this. Uh, this, it, it all takes time. It's, it, you, you'll never be a master in a day. Some of this just takes time and experience. Like, I just, I've learned this just by feeling out the game, personally. Like, I, I, I asked for some help, but for the most part, I learned all of this just by feeling out the game. Um, you can push like the third hit here, and that's, that's how you get PBGC. Um, but like, all the windows and stuff I have for PBGC timings and things, all by game feel, um, which is a possible thing. You can also do it by numbers, and I know the Graham Sandwich does it by numbers. Um, it, it all depends on how you learn and interact with the game. So it's not like you'll you'll never be a master. It's just that it takes time, and it's it's all possible. It's all definitely possible. Well, that's kind of the quick and dirty, I guess, on push blocking, guard canceling. Um, but yeah, let's see. We'll go for like, let's see, three, three more maybe. Yeah. Let's see how t learning how to play Valentine better besides doing instant overhead, overhead JMP and low mix-ups. Okay. Oh, so Valentine mix-ups. Let's, let's see. If we're, oh, not 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 playing again. Heck. Just want to change characters. Go over here. Boosh. Uh, we'll do it again, Stanny, because she's tiniest and sure. Uh, and then we'll go back to Dan Mess's thing. Um, if you want to, whoop. Change the thing. There we go. You want to learn how to do some better mixes? Uh, Ninja Flippy is a good one. Uh, this is Ninja Flippy. You double tap backwards to go forward. Uh, if you're on controller, that's what you do. Uh, this leads to good mix ups like this, or something like that. So, if you want low, low overhead mix ups and mixes, this is uh, something you can do. Um, you do have this. Going for this is okay, but normally we would just go for, uh, we'll go for the J JHP. Um, uh, low mixes, you know, just kind of go for double low, honestly. Um, and that kind of the normal thing is just doing the tick throw. That's, that's your good low mix. Double low like that, staggered low at least, is pretty good. This is a good mix, uh, but you know, and he's tiny, so you know. See if I can get this to land. There you go. That's a cross-up. Sometimes that's a uh, same side. Yeah, that's kind of hard to hard to tell. And this is just kind of that's kind of normal mix too, especially someone who doesn't have double jump. That's what you would normally go for. Her her cross under left right is actually really good. You do one of these, but but then you just dash under. That's your low mix. And go do this, but but you know if I hit the buttons, heck. That's a normal thing you could do. With the ninja, with the ninja flippy. Go for the cross up, but you know, and he's tiny. Um, there, there's there's a bunch more. Um, so there's there's a lot there's a lot to doing weird things with Valentine like this. You can probably get that to cross up <laughs> if you if you dashed under fast enough. But yeah, there's there's a lot more than than just the uh, JMP and low stuff. 
Yeah, let's see. Also from Clock Knight, what are some, what's some good options to avoid scaling too much? I use JMP a lot, and I remember scaling being mentioned last week. Also, what can I do to mix the opponent with Val besides slogans to over? It's there it is. Yeah, <laughs> the same thing from from there. Um, man, if you want to avoid scaling, you just go for the the single hitting moves at the beginning of your combo. Leave all of the normal. Uh, Multi hitting moves for the rest, pretty much. So, if you want to do a normal like Val BNB, here's my Val BNB. <laughs> no, that I do. Yeah. My Val BNB. That's like decent damage, you know. Uh, depending on how you do it. Oh, well, my game didn't weird it, weird it out. You can do stuff like that. Um, and then you, you see that you're just doing single handed moves. Uh, can actually just increase your damage immediately. And you can do weird things like that. Um, but yeah, my Val B&B. And if you got close enough, that's pretty much not over the end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you want to do just a bunch of heavy hitting moves at the start of your combo, and then wait until like after like 10 hits or so. Or like, you know, 6 to 10 hits. 6 to 10? Oh. Um, to, to be doing stuff with multi-hitting whips. That's how you kind of reduce your scaling overall. And that's how you end up doing more damage over over the course of the combo. So, because if you start with doing... As you see, you did less damage overall. You gotta run? That's fair. No problem, Rocco. See you later. Um, yeah, so starting, starting yourself off with, like... With, with all the multi-hitting moves actually ends up making less damage for you because you're doing way too many hits and you see the scaling happening at the uh, top left right there you instantly achieve 100 percent scaling and that is not good for you so my bnb does 7156 and this bnb does a bunch less 5638 that's not great if we did the same thing right and just put this over here And just did all single hitting moves at the beginning. 72. You increased your damage by about 2,000. So doing doing a bunch of multi-hitting moves at the start is actually not good for you. Start with... I'll usually do uh, just ABC combos. So it'd be you know a light, a medium, and then a heavy. Whichever one's your launcher, pretty much. Light, medium, heavy. And go into your air series. And then you just kind of go from there. Um, so doing this actually does not do any damage for you. 1891. Not great, right? That right there. Just almost comparable, but you do more damage at the end of it. You do less damage overall. Um, so, try to start your combos with single heavy hitting moves. How does Robo deal with zoning herself? That's a good question. Uh, when should I go for heads? And generally, head used to. I think that's Rocco, actually. Rocco? That might be Rocco, actually. Ah, nice. Um, kind of zoning yourself? Man, uh, the way to kind of deal with zoning yourself. Heck. Let's change characters here. Uh, I'll do this one and then I'll answer Dan's question. And you're zoning yourself. Oh, heck. Um, so it's a Rubble Fortune. It's a Rubble Fortune battle. Uh, so. Imagine for a second that this Robo of Fortune is alive and is doing the zoning. Yeah, 
Yeah. Imagine that is what's happening. You want to deal with zoning, you know, another rubble fortune. This is how you deal with it. How you deal with it. This is how you deal with it. That's how you deal with it. Pretty much just time time your sand approach to be able to take a hit. And counter zone. For the most part. You just kind of deal with that. Um, good time to get heads would actually be in the midst of that. When you get hit, you can actually go for a head. Something like that. You know, that's the thing. Um, uh, generally, I mean, if you're going for, for zoning stuff, you could just, you know, do one of these, go for a head, because then I'll also, also hit them too. I'll still hit them regardless. Then you can just do more damage overall. You can just do more. Um, so, yeah. Um, if you're in combos and you're trying to go for head stuff, uh, pretty much this is you just this for, for. Use this for combo filler or you use it to kind of set the spacing up for yourself uh, especially if they're in the corner you have to deal with this do another one they have to deal with it um, yeah uh, heads in this case as well full screen you can uh, this is what I like to do in my matches do one of these and then I would tag out and then have the heads hit them because it sets up a pressure situation for you, and normally just getting all three heads is better than just getting one or two. Uh, at least I think so. But yeah, those are things you could do. Uh, general heads, yeah. Um, whenever, whenever you're kind of in neutral, it's actually just generally good. Just kind of, you know, if you're doing a zoning pattern, you take a pause because most, most people will be focusing on other things, like the B boost right here. You know, that kind of thing. I'll tell you robo a little bit. Uh, so let's get back to Danmas question. Uh, game plan with Annie. Um, things with Annie. Annie is an interesting character. Um, we'll do it against Fuqua, because why not? Bottom two character. Uh, this character. My personal belief is that she's just a generic... Uh, Air Dasher now, JHP the character. Um, that's not to say that she's bad. Um, I just don't find her personally interesting. Because anything that she did have interesting was kind of removed in the beta. Um, that's not to say that she's bad. But, uh, she's, she's a, she's a, I mean, she's a good Air Dasher, if anything. Um, generally, I like to do this. Arrest the opponent. You can also go in. Kind of go for your own mix. Um, She's just kind of, she's just kind of, I don't want to say worse Philia, but she's got, she's got different mix, if anything. Uh, but, yeah, she's she's got different way of doing what would be an, an Air Dasher's mix, pretty much. Um, uh, your general game plan is just... Try to get in. Pretty much, this is an air dasher, you know, uh, and just kind of general rush down character. Uh, you can do do the baity thing because she's, her tech and crescents are massive, um, um, and, and general buttons that you would want to be approaching with is obviously JHP the, the heckin' game. J sorry, JHP the character, not the game. Um, approaching with this, you know, maybe like going for JMP because it's decent pressure, and then going for uh, a JHP or a forward this. Also would be pretty good, especially if you're near the corner. Um, uh, pretty much. Air to air, you're mostly doing this and this. Because these buttons... Here, let me see. Cause let, me, let me get the attack data off the, off the screen. Um, going for JLP is bad, because it's a stubby normal. JLK is an upward hitting hitbox, so that's a stubby normal, and it's not going to do anything for you. Unless you want to do bad philia, pretty much. Especially you have to be at a distance and in high middle ball. <laughs> Look at that. Not even hit her. Not even hit her, dude. There you go. You could do bad Vilia, um, but normally people are just going to be doing this. Yeah, and then we go into a forward, which you can just do. 
that or board that or board that or board that or a board that same side That kind of thing, those kind of shenanigans. It's mostly what you're kind of doing with um, dangle, any like that. Um, pretty much uh, pressure-wise, uh, for me, I like to do shenanigans like this. So let's, uh, let's do one of these. North knuckle. Yeah, North knuckle. This is my pressure string because this is neutral. You just gotta do that. And that kind of works out for you. Um, but yeah. Um, so let's see. Answered a decent amount of questions. I'd have to wanted to save this for another time, but uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good chunk. Pretty good chunk. All right. Well, we'll end the stream here. If you've got any more questions, otherwise I will just end the stream. Uh, thank you all for stopping by. It's been pretty cool. Oh, here's the thing. You should probably know. Uh, um, if your opponent is uh, like knocked down, um, you can actually run through their tech kind of like Robo, uh, so you can pass through certain opponents while they're teching and stuff. So you get you get yourself a left-right mix, pretty much. Um, that's a quirk. That's fun. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll stop the stream here. Thank you, everybody, for your patience and for stopping by. If you would like to see more Skullgirls, we will have more Skullgirls um, on Wednesday. Skullgirls be great. Our weekly Wednesday tournament at 8 p.m. EST. Um, can Annie combo off of Throw Well? Uh, hold on. Let me let me go back for this actually because that's kind of important. Um, Annie's throw is the weirdest thing I have ever seen, and the way she can convert is honestly kind of awkward. And there's many different ways to do it. Um, I've seen people do this. I'm just kind of this. Dash up with a light kick. It's hard though. Um, kind of the way it's just like you dash up with the heck and stand meeting punch pretty much. Like confirming off of a normal is kind of hard. But if you pair it with a, a crescent, it's pretty much this happens. But like you can, you can dash up and light. Uh, you can dash up. It's just hard to dash, though. Dash up low. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of easier if you do this. Depending on the way you want to convert, pretty much. Um, you can do that, too. This is a conversion, too. That's a thing. Hello. Uh, let's see. Can you convert from pillar with stent? Yes. Yes, you can. This. You just do that. You can even loop into yourself. <laughs> that's 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 kind of easy. Like even if they get launched at a distance. Boosh. Oh, after a... Oh, after a... Oh. <laughs> after a pillar. Like, you do this. And then you do that. Yeah, that's that's a... That's a... That's a... Talking Skullgirls. And kind of things you do in the game. Let's see. I mean, yeah, that's not a thing that you can you can convert off of. Unless you do pillar again, pretty much. If you do this, A, pretty much. <clears throat> uh, otherwise, if you had install, right? We did install. <sighs> Oop. Well, if you did the thing, did install, you know, that kind of thing. That'd be like a thing. Because then that just confirms and they jump up. 
do stand for a punch before they go all the way up. You can, but that still, uh, yeah, that that still lands them. Like if you did the, that, it still lands them all the way over there. There's no way you could do that. The thing to do would be that, then try to go full screen. <laughs> So there's no way you reach them in time. Look at that. Crazy. I would just do it again. It's kind of like your only way. Unless you're like... <coughs> closer to the corner or something like that. Like if you were like over here. And decide to do that. You'll probably get it if you're, if you're a little closer. Yeah, pretty much from this distance here, where this tree is. Uh, getting pillar and then doing that. That's how you you just dash and confirm. Um, if I was converting from pillar, it was here, right? Just if you wanted to do that weird thing, right? Except the, that, I would just do that. And just do that again or if they're close enough right because you know here i'll rip here or no punch bam bam there's a conversion from there um if there's a way to do it from further away let me see that'd be possible Might be possible. Um, if not there, that very much. Anything like that? I do this. I can. Something like that. Schmix, if you wanted to. Those are those are ways. <clears throat> like if you if you wanted to do that in the corner, that'd be a lot easier. But like mid screen's kind of pushing it, because then you just need another pillar to convert. That's a lot of meter. But yeah, uh, so I I need to get out of here because it's kind of late. Um, so thank you everybody for stopping by. Real, 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 all that good stuff. See you all next time. Bye, everybody.